Hey guys, what's up? This is Abby Cedar Pacific Rim Video here with my guest co-host, Miss Nikki Sun of NikkiSun.com. And we are here with Johnny Hi-Fi at the Asian Rock Fest. Guys, we just heard your set. It was awesome. And we are so excited to hear more, obviously. Um, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about where you guys started? Uh, sure. Uh, well, I, I started uh, Johnny Hi-Fi almost actually a little bit more than 10 years ago. Uh, I was I was going to school in Austin, Texas, and that, that, that's when I first started the band. And then I moved the band to New York, and we were, you know, playing in the in the Northeast Circle for seven years before I moved out here. Um, and of course, none of the guys wanted to move out here, so I, I found these guys on Craigslist um, three years. Craigslist? Yeah, yeah, the men seeking men section. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you know, I mean, I mean, Craigslist is a great place to actually, you know, I mean, I, I figured. Yeah, I mean, I figured it's like if I'm. What was the tagline I'm... for these guys then? That yeah, made you I'm pick curious on you. too. Like, what was the tagline? Awesome drummer dude that plays with like glow sticks or something. No, what actually, he put out the ad and found us. Actually, we we found the band. He put the ad out. We responded. It was like. Uh... Yeah, and, and when they show up for audition, I'm like, you know, these are good looking guys. I'm like, you're you're in. You don't even need to play. You don't even need to play. Just you're in. Yeah, and then so so that uh, we've been together for. Uh, some of us have been together for almost two years. Uh, Patrick is the newest member, and he's been here for more than a year. So, right. yeah. You so far? Very much, yeah. We have a blast. <laughs> it's like I have to say yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no the music keeps coming back. Uh, it's it's good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Well, one by one, can you guys introduce yourselves? Say what your um, you know part is in the band. Yeah, I'm Mark Day. I'm the drummer. I'm John Schiller, uh, bass. And my name is Eric. I'm the guitarist and vocal. And I'm Patrick. I do lead guitars. And I'm Nikki, and I'm co-hosting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Could you describe your creative process when you're making music? Like, who does the uh, composing of the writing? Who does the, you know, all that stuff? Yeah, for us, it's a little bit more like an assembly line. I'll come up with, with the idea for the song, the melody, the lyrics, and then I'll present it to the entire band, and we all come up with our own part, uh, and then we each, you know, contribute our idea for arrangement, make sure that, you know, it doesn't sound like everything else that's on the radio and you know John's good engineer so then we, he would bring in all his recording gear and then we record it and then we all sit down and then you know listen to it in details make sure all the parts work and and yeah that's our process so if you guys could collaborate with anyone in this world not just the United States in the world who would it be and why well for me personally uh, I like to collaborate with Coldplay yeah, and, you know they they they. Yeah, I mean mainly just to get to his wife. <laughs> Collaborate with his wife or him? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean no. All, all kidding aside, you know, I, I they they actually play a huge influence on on my writing style and, and my you know they're they're, they're a big influence um, on this on, on this band. Uh, I'm sure they all have different ideas too, you know, for who they want to work with. But for me, you know, it's like it's mostly uh, anything Brit pop, you know. I mean. Love to collaborate with Tom York too. Um, yeah. In your opinion, what has been your biggest achievement? Because not only in the U.S. but you guys have done tours in Asia, been on MTV's top what China, like top ten music videos and Billboard's like Artist of the Month. So those are big things. So what, in your opinion, has been your biggest achievement? Um, I think the biggest achievement is it, it, not really about how many people that we play for or, or how big the shows are um, for me personally really the the biggest achievement is that every time we have a new record that comes out uh, then then it kind of signifies you know it's like that that it's it's sealed you know it's like finally I have songs that are, that are done you know that are, that are out there yeah um, and then so for me releasing a new record every single time that we, we do you know release a new record that that to me feels like the the biggest achievement you know I mean bigger than anything any shows that we play or you know any awards that we win or anything like that yeah yeah all right well our last question then where can we find your music you can find our music uh, on our website uh, johnnyhifi dot com uh, or you can go to iTunes Amazon CD Baby uh, just do a search you know for sexy Asian bands and you <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no. If you do that search, I don't know what comes up. I've never done that myself. Don't do it at work. Yeah, don't do it at work. Yeah. We'll bribe Google to put you guys at the top. 
<laughs> okay, great. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing your information with us. It's been Nikki Sun, Abby, Seatro Pacific Room Video, with the guys from Johnny Hi-Fi, signing off at Asian Rock Thanks, guys. Yeah.